Every morning when I wake up, wake up, I know I'ma get my cake up, cake up. Every morning when I wake up, wake up, I just smile cause I've been getting my today. Every morning when I wake up, wake up, I know I'ma get my cake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, like, gotta get my cash on Wake up, wake up, wake up, like, I'ma get my flash on Wait up, wait up, wait up, don't know who you finna pass on I got talent, I got passion Mama told me, don't you wait Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, it's Bella here In today's tutorial, I created a look using the new Huda Beauty Warm Brown Obsessions Palette So if you want to see how I achieved this look, then please keep on watching and as always, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video. So the first thing that I did was prime my eyes with some Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. And then I'm going in with that pink shade as my transition shade, just going back and forth in the crease. Then taking a more defined brush, I just went back into the crease. And I'm starting to create a line just to really define that area and we're gonna go in with a deeper shade so this is really gonna prep for the next step next I'm gonna be going in with the deeper brown shade and I'm also taking the same brush and I'm just gonna be layering that layering that right over the pink shade that we just applied going in back and forth motions and we are gonna be going back into the pink shade to blend this line out So now, as you can see, I'm blending that line using the same pink shade that we just applied to the transition, to the transition, to the crease. And I'm just going in back and forth motions. And then taking some more of that Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, I'm going to really carve out the lid. And this step is really, really necessary for this look, just because it really helps the lid space to really pop. And then I'm going in with the white shade. In the palette and I'm taking a flat brush and just packing that on the inner corner now going back into the pink shade in the palette I'm gonna be taking a little bit of a fluffier brush and just really starting to feather that inwards uh, starting from the outer corner just feathering it inwards and I'm only going up to like halfway of the lid I'm not taking that in all the way and then going back in with that deep brown shade, I'm going to be packing that on the outer corner. And as you can see, I'm using really light dabbing motions just because we don't want any harsh lines for this look. We want everything to look nice and blended. For lashes, I'm using Shop Sophie Bella Bali Lashes. And in my waterline, I'm using NYX Black Pencil. And then taking that same pink shade, I'm going to be buffing that all over the lower lash line. And then I'm going to go back in to the deeper brown shade and I'm going to be putting that only on the outer corner of the lower lash line. And this is the finished eye look. Stay tuned if you want to see how I achieved the full face look. The first thing that I'm going to be doing is applying my Smashbox uh, Photo Finish Primer Oil. And I really love this oil. It really does a great job of hydrating the skin. And I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Stick Foundation in Tan. Um, this foundation, I've said this before, but it's not a super long wearing foundation. Like if you're just going to lunch and coming back home or if you're going out for a couple of hours coming back home, I would recommend it. But it's not super, super long wearing. And the uh, contour stick that I'm using is also from Anastasia and it's in the shade Mink. I really, really love the shade of this contour stick just because I feel like it is suitable for a lot of skin tones. And because it is more of a cool tone contour stick, it's going to be really natural looking. And then I went ahead and blended that out. Now I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm just going to be applying this to the center parts of my face. So underneath my eyes, around my mouth area, down the bridge of my nose, and a little bit on my chin. And this, found, this uh, concealer is super, super full coverage, and I'm obsessed with it. I didn't show me blending out the concealer just because it's pretty self-explanatory. I just used a damp beauty sponge, 
And to set that, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder, which I've been loving. I love it more than the Laura Mercier um, translucent powder. And I'm baking underneath my eyes and down the sides of my nose. And what I'm baking with is a uh, blending sponge from Pure Cosmetics. And for highlighter, I'm using the Daydream Prismatic Loose Highlighter from Violet Voss. And I really, really love this highlight. To contour, I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetics Contour Palette. And I'm using this cool tone shade. And I'm just going to be putting this in the hollows of my cheek cheeks and um, underneath my nose and on my jawline. For blush, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Peachy Love Blush, and this is my favorite blush of all time. It's so pigmented, and it just gives such a beautiful sun-kissed look. I like to apply the blush on the apples of my cheeks, also on my nose and on my chin, just the areas where the sun would naturally hit your face. And for lips, I'm going in with a Makeup Forever lip liner. They have the best lip liners. Super, super creamy and pigmented. And for the lip color, I'm using the Morphe Brunch Liquid Lipstick, which is pretty much one of my staple nude liquid lipsticks, and it's not too drying. And this is the finished look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to turn your post notifications on so you don't miss a video with us. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you in the next one.